Welcome to Cam Look, a daily visit with staff members from the Cincinnati Art Museum, in which we'll take a closer look at artwork from the museum's permanent collection. Tune in each day to hear about another featured artwork. My name is Anthony Ellip, and I work as an exhibition preparator within the museum's design and installations department. Today, we'll be taking a look at an oil painting by artist Maxfield Parrish entitled Portrait of a Tree. Trained as both a painter and illustrator, Parrish spent the bulk of his career creating calendars, greeting cards, and magazine covers. His distinctive style garnered him significant acclaim, and by the 1890s, he was regarded as one of the East Coast's preeminent illustrators. At the height of his talents, in the 1920s, he turned his attention away from figural illustration and focused instead on landscape paintings. This shift would eventually give rise to the artwork we're viewing today. Parrish's style is often characterized by its distinctive use of color. The frequent appearance of cobalt blue in Parrish's underpaintings has even earned itself the nickname Parrish Blue. The decision to incorporate a monochromatic blue underpainting is responsible for many of the distinctive color qualities in Parrish's artwork. The combination of these underpaintings and Parrish's liberal application of glazes helps solidify his reputation as a color master. For the uninitiated, glazing is a painting process in which layers of translucent color, separated by varnish, are optically mixed as light travels through the glaze and reflects off the opaque layers below. This process can create a glowing sensation similar to looking at a brightly lit wall through colored cellophane. Examples of this technique can be found throughout the painting and along the image's foreground shadows. Close examination of these sections reveals a wide range of violets, magenta, and indigo. As such, artworks like Portrait of a Tree are best experienced in person and should encourage anyone interested in learning more about Parrish or the rest of the museum's permanent collection to consider a post-quarantine trip to the Cincinnati Art Museum. Thank you for taking the time to tune in today and have a safe and healthy tomorrow.